Convergence theory isn't just one theory. It is a collection of theories presenting a complex explanation of current day events, changes and developments. These developments are social, technological, cultural and even general. The various convergence theories are not new, having been around for a very, very long time. But over time they have grown ever more relevant and important. Convergence theory currently affects the technology we utilize, the media we consume, socialization and recreation, all of which converge in multiple forms, including in this video. Whilst convergence theory is an old theory, it is only in recent time it has become important. And now I realize that I have summarized the last 50 years, a period longer than I have been alive, with a simple description, as recent times. So let's jump into the subject, before this ramble continues. Technological convergence is a complicated process, and is often confused with another theory, technological fusion. By separating these theories, we find a solid foundation of what technological convergence is. Technological fusion is the combination of two or more different technologies to expand use of productivity, or production of either. Meanwhile, technological convergence is a combination of two or more different technologies to create something new. Through this technological convergence enables innovation, invention, entrepreneurship and rationalization of previous technology. When attempting to track down the beginning of technological convergence do we find one of the earliest examples being in the car industry. The vehicle was invented during the 19th century, however failed to grab the market due to lack of infrastructure and technology. In 1903 Henry Ford would open the Ford Motor Company and by 1913 Ford would have combined the assembly line with the conveyor belt, replacing the previous skid based assembly method. This became known as Fordism revolutionizing the industry towards employing as many employees as possible to work on the lines in order to produce as many products as possible, maximizing profit. Whilst Fordism is now gone, the combination Ford made is not gone. The human has been replaced with a machine and production has reached limits, requiring in certain industry restraints for profit. The car itself continued to develop as well. And in modern time, a car is not just one car, but many. With an alternative parts, varying technologies and combination creating different models. A car is not just a car anymore, it is a convergent machine, mass produced and customizable. Truly no car is alike, as they have become ever expanding mixes of technologies through convergence. Once the processor was developed in the early 1970s, convergence began to increase. People combined computers with writing, computers with the internet, computers and offices. Industries formed and industries were reformed. An entire new industrial revolution began and passed. By the end of it, there was no pass and the fourth began. Whilst many argue what the fourth industrial revolution is, the media revolution, the communication revolution, the social revolution, I personally believe it is convergence revolution. Rationalization of all past technology through optimization and technological fusion, but most and strongest affecting being the convergence. This part has so far been unsourced due to a lack of discussion of convergence in the fourth industrial revolution. From now on, I will make my point and show examples. In recent times, people have been glued to boxes and screens, which have evolved, changed and developed. First we had a VCR, then we had a DVD, CDS, cartridges, Blu-ray and more, all in the living room. All connected further to a complex web of sound systems books, lightning and radio, and whatever you can imagine, like a spider web of individual machines, objects and consumer products. Many have so today, 
but far from everyone. The machinery and recreation which spanned throughout the living room have all converged with the ultimate convergent machine. It began with telecommunication being combined with the computer, and now it is all in one, and it fits in your hand. The Bergadocious smartphone. It is the everything platform. Need banking, smartphone, radio, TV, books, art, production, literature, everything recreational and productive. Smartphone. Need to pretend to be drinking a beer? There's a bloody app for that. Why? Because why not? It is everything device and it keeps converging. The smartphone is such an amazing convergence device that the computer I'm writing this on might be phased out in the future. Don't believe me? BBC, Forbes and the Washington Post has all written articles on the failing computer C rates, whilst education, government and general authorities have targeted significant increases. Why is that? You know why. Convergence. The smartphone can do all the computer can do, and it still fit inside of your pocket. Can corporations and businesses be based on convergence processes? Yes, they can. Let's discuss the Internet of Things industry, often shorted to IoT. IoT receives billions of dollars in investments every year, and it's billions with a big B. With $800 billion invested in 2017 alone. What is the goal of this industry? Simple. Convergence through networking, connection and merging ideas. Inventions, patents and people in the new industries. New products and new ideas. A genius industry that could only exist in a time of rationalization of ideas. Old and new by converging them and seeing what we can do for by developing from there. However, this leaves us questioning, is convergence limited to technology? Convergence culture is just one of many terms coined by the excellent Professor Henry Jenkins, who in fact runs an excellent blog, henryjenkins.org, which, if any, is a bloody good example of how one can participate in both academia and activism. Whilst Jenkins is a prophetic author, having written and edited 20 books and more on the way, we will focus on his book, Convergence Culture, where old and new media collide. Published in 2006. So what is Convergence Culture? Simply. It is the convergence of culture. Technological convergence makes it easier to produce and easier to engage. Media no longer exists in a vacuum, and the audience is no longer the consumer. Throughout the book Convergence Culture, Jenkins notes the rise of convergence culture across multiple different media industries and formats. Throughout the book, Jenkins discusses audience engagement, Star Wars Rise in Culture, Matrix Global Influence, Harry Potter's Generational Build, and Technological Tools allowing media to cross and audience to engage in new and democratic ways. Jenkins begins the book by discussing a Filipino-American high school student's Photoshop collage in 2001. This collage was spread around, and in this collage, it was portraying Sesame Street's spirit hanging around with historically infamous terrorist Osama Bin Laden and the Nazi leader Hitler, having intercourse with Pamela Anderson and dressed as both the Unabomber and KKK. This parody made it to the news, CNN and Children's Television Workshop. The creators of Sesame Street were outraged at this display of their intellectual property. Why start with that? A person of minority who usually wouldn't be noticed at a young age when you have less experience and voice created a parody which would have required skill sets previously hard to acquire and use intellectual property which would have been hard to acquire. Not anymore. It has all converged, and in the cultural convergence, everyone can be heard, anyone can create, 
and intellectual property is democratized to some extent. But to what extent does this convergence happen? For service and media, audience interactivity, with technology in the living room and a production studio in your pocket, what hinders you from taking it in public and to your bedroom? You can stream anything from your bedroom. Movies, games and consumption of media, it is unlimited. You can bring your stream to the streets, building an entire community based on audience interaction with the real life of real people. Both digital augmentations and augmented digitals are enabled through convergence. Why keep it limited to the public, recreation and intellectual? Let's make it sexual! Only fans, allow audience, actors and studio interaction all at once. The actors pay well the experience, however, participating in community construction, which they later transform into audience and consumers of their sexual content for profit. That's why the actors succeeding in OnlyFans tend not only to do only OnlyFans, they do more. Instagram, Twitch, YouTube, acting and entire careers. It is not just pornography, it is also converged media. All of culture are converging. Private, public, entertainment, work, art and science. It is all connecting and it is not a bad thing. It is just a thing which is happening, which enables new media, new presentation, interactivity, where none were before. So what is a metaverse? Oxford's definition, a virtual reality space in which users can interact with a computer generated environment and other users. But what is its place in the convergence? It has to do with the ultimate convergence platforms. The true metaverse is where technological convergence and cultural convergence meet. It is what multiple companies are targeting. Epic Games integration of various intellectual properties. Meta's development of various social media formats. X platform expansion to include ever more futures. Who is the actual winner? You already know. The platform which you participate in all of this on the smartphone. It is the everything platform which are already here and the rest are competing on them. Maybe it would be more productive if these giants focus on what to bring into the convergence next. Convergence is as a term expresses convergence, technology and culture with that of social, digital, reality, fictional, economics, politics and everything else converging. The ultimate convergence device have already been invented. The question is what will be developed next through convergence? I cannot tell what, but I know one thing. We are in the modern gold rush, but instead of gold it is technology and culture that are combining into metaphorical gold. There of course will be failures as well. And we will both see individual ideas fail and industrial giants fall. We have already seen that, but we are only in the beginning. Isn't it the recent AI hype all about converging technological algorithms with information? I find this interesting, but even more so the possibilities after and what is next to be converged. But who know what it might be?